Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm Candace, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a Bottega Veneta unboxing. And I'm featuring two items. And they kind of came out of nowhere, to be honest with you. They're not wish list items. I told y'all that happens. We make these wish lists and then things come up. And that's just how it is. So here's my bag. It's kind of heavy, okay? So that's it right there. Y'all know what the bag looks like. So I'm gonna start with the big box. I'm not gonna tell y'all. I mean, I'm not gonna start with the small one. We know we hate when people do that. So obviously, ooh, y'all almost saw what it was. <laughs> obviously this is a pair of shoes, okay. What? Size 40, my true size for once. I found that most Bottega shoes run true to size, except for the mules. I get a 41, clearly they're not the mules because I gave it away. Dust bags, let's look together. You see a peeking of it, my favorite color. <sighs> okay, so they're called the stretch on the Bottega site. Y'all know that Bottega is very lazy when it comes to naming their items, but I was able to find a different name somewhere else and I kind of like that better. We're gonna stick with that. I think it was on Moto Operandi or something. These are the Lace Up Wedge Espadrilles in Tangerine. This orange is just stunning. Stunning. I tried these on, so comfortable. So I'm gonna hold one up at this point because it's too hard to hold two up for the whole video, but this is what they look like. I'm gonna try them on and all of that, but I wanted to show y'all the details. So the, you know, traditional mesh that Bottega uses, also the square toe. I know people hate this. I love the square toe. I love that about Bottega. I love that they do that. And honestly, I don't really like their shoes where they don't do it. It's just something I've come to expect. This is what they look like. The perfect heel height. So comfortable. This is what the bottom looks like. Very comfortable. It has a little lace right here, or what do you call it, string or something? And then you can control if you wanna wear it up your ankle or down your ankle. I typically like to wear it low ankle because I find that if I don't, they slide. The girl got small ankles, okay? So I kinda have to, but that's what the interior of the shoe looks like. I'm obsessed with this color. It's so gorgeous for spring and summer. And I'm excited to wear these. I will tell you, at first, when you slide your foot in, for me, y'all know I have medium width feet. It takes kind of a little bit of effort to get your foot in there, but once you get it in there, it stays. It's pretty comfortable. I've walked around and I'm no problems. Yeah, these are really nice. I love them. I got one more item. You can tell what it is before I even open it because it comes in this. It's an accessory. So here's the little dust bag for that. What do y'all think it is? I'm full of surprises today, I know. I got the small triangle belt and bonbon, which is the pink, and it has silver hardware. The girl is obsessed. So I have two other mini belts. I have one from Christian Dior and then I have one from Gucci. I wanted something different and I love the triangle Lolo. Lolo. What? Logo, the signature logo here. I really like this. So I'm gonna tell y'all a quick little story and fill y'all in on a little secret that not everybody knows, but I love y'all. Y'all are like family, so I'm gonna tell y'all. So basically, your girl is pregnant, okay? Your girl is hopefully, God willing, by the time this video's live, I'll be four months pregnant. I'm so happy, we're so excited. And basically, I've been wearing these belts a lot with dresses. Y'all know I'm not a dress girl, but I've learned to appreciate them now. They're much more comfortable and I can breathe. I've been wearing, you know, belts around my dresses a lot. I like loose and flowy sometimes, but sometimes I want it to be a little more cinched in. And I think this is the perfect addition to my collection and I plan on getting more. I don't know if I'll get more Bottega belts, probably one or two. It's a great price point. I'm also looking at Saint Laurent. If you know of any other brands with skinny belts that's not all over the place like Gucci, let me know. And I'll gladly look at those. But let me show y'all my bump. Y'all are gonna see it in my mod shots because I i can't hide it much longer. But yeah, here we go. So I'm currently 15 weeks at the time of filming this video. But yeah, I'm not matching down there so I'm not gonna go way down there. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh. I thought I would do this like massive announcement, but I really haven't been feeling it to be honest with you. I don't know, I'm not a traditional person. If you've been following me for a while, you know this. Like even with the whole wedding ceremony and all of that, of course everybody in high school wants a massive wedding. They wanna invite the whole entire population. Not really, but a lot of people. <laughs> Eventually, I got engaged. 
and I started looking at all the prices for everything. Now, I'm not cheap when it comes to spending money on myself, but when it comes to spending money on other people, different story. So I was like, I'm not about to pay $70, $80 a person to eat when all y'all gonna do is come eat and leave and probably not bring a gift. So screw y'all, we gonna lope. So that's literally what we did. And we saved a lot of money, put our money on our house. I got my new car. Your girl was happy, okay? I still don't regret that. And likewise with this whole baby thing, I thought about doing this extravagant announcement or something to my husband. I didn't, I was just like, I'm pregnant. <laughs> I know. Also with the whole reveal and everything, yes, I know the gender of my baby and everything. I don't know if I wanna share that yet, but I did do the little blood test where you can find out 11 weeks and my midwife, that's the route we're going, I'm trying to do natural everything. I'm trying, okay, I'm trying. I respect people so much that do that because I, I see what y'all go through. But anyway, if y'all have any questions, y'all want me to do another video. I don't have to go into detail in this one, but just let me know if y'all have any questions. I'll be happy to answer them in another video. We watched this video sharing the gender of our baby. That's how we found out the gender. It wasn't this whole gender reveal. I didn't want to do all of that. I was just like, okay, let's find out together. And then we'll just tell people what it is. I'm not even sold on a baby shower. I'm literally, like literally, I'm the most, like I know I have all of these material things, but I'm the most simple person, literally. And I don't like a lot of attention on me. I don't like to be around a lot of people. I'm not really a people person. I know it seems like I am, but I'm not really close with a lot of people by personal choice because I feel like people are pretty crappy, most of them. And a baby shower for what? Like, if you want to get us something, get us something. And what we need a shower for? I'm trying to get past that. My assistant wants me to have a baby shower. My realtor wants to have a baby shower. Like, they want it. My realtor wants to throw it with my assistant and put it together. I'm like, okay, y'all do it, fine. But I'm not about to stress over no baby shower. Whatever. It's rough. Because I'm not into all of the extra extravagant stuff. Parties. I've never been into parties. No graduation party, no birthday party. I've never had any of those. It's just me. I don't know. Is that weird? Am I weird? Probably. But that's me. But yeah, I'm excited. And if you have any advice for first time moms, because your girl is somebody nervous, let me know in the comments. Also, if you have any questions, I don't know. I'll be happy to address them in a video, I guess. But even though it's not really related to luxury, maybe a vlog of some sort. I might do, I don't know. I do not want this to turn into a baby channel. That's not my intention. I want this to stay luxury for one. I really want to maintain who I am as an individual. I know I'm gonna be a mother. I know my life is gonna change, all of that. But it's important that I maintain who I am as a person for my mental health. And just because, you know, it's not gonna be baby everything. I can't do that. We're gonna sprinkle it a little here and there, but this is not gonna be a, like a baby blog. I'll keep that for the beauty bow. I don't know, we'll see. I, I'm thinking way too far ahead. I don't know, maybe not. But yeah, let me know what you thought of my haul. I totally went off on a tangent. I know that was random, but again, I just want to tell y'all, cause y'all, I feel like y'all are my, my friends. My family outside of another mother or something. I don't know. I'm about to end this video. Oh, we haven't been talking that long. <laughs> but I'm gonna leave another video here in case y'all haven't already seen it. Thanks for watching.